Hey, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make basses like the ones in the track Holy Moly by Document One. So, this is the original track. Holy, 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 holy. And this is my creation. This is the bass we're gonna be making solo. And I just took the drums from a part of the track. Okay, cool. So before we get started with the sound, make sure you like this video, share this with a friend, and also make sure you subscribe and have the notification bell turned on, which helps us immensely to grow the channel. So let's just jump into Serum. Okay, so this sound inside of Serum is actually very simple. We just need a sine wave on A and a sine wave on B. Just like this. And then we just need some noise. And this is basically everything you need to make the sound. So let's just add a bandpass filter and route us a little bit through it. Let's bring the resonance all the way down. Let's boost the drive a lot. And then let's go into Oscillator A and add harmonics like this. You should be getting a shape of a sine wave that is getting closer and closer to becoming a saw wave, as you can see. So the more harmonics you keep adding, the more the sine wave is trying to turn into a saw wave, like this. So let's just add a couple less harmonics, just like this. Let's boost the level of both oscillators, actually. And let's go into the effects tab and add an EQ and turn on the distortion. So in the distortion, let's boost the drive. And then we're going to use two different bells on the EQ to add some resonance before the distortion. Let's actually make a notch here with this band. And then let's bring this band as a peak. Let's put it low like this. Bring the Q down and boost the gain. Sounds nice. You can always experiment with that, as you can see. And then let's turn on a compressor, set on multiband, and bring the mids up a little bit lower, and boost the highs. Let's boost the release. And then let's turn on a chorus, put it after the compressor, and set this on high pass. Bring this mix down. And that is basically all the setup inside of Serum. Now let's jump into some post processing. And so for post processing, the first thing we need to do is to add a trash. We're gonna set it on multiband mode and we're gonna split it into three bands. First band goes from 20 to 278 Hertz. Then the second band goes from 278 Hertz to 400 Hertz. And then the third one goes from 400 until 20k. On the first band we don't have any processing but on the second band we have tape saturator with 1.3 of drive and with the wave shaper like this and on the third band we don't have anything. Then a very important part of this sound is to add a bunch of notches with EQs like this. So the more we add notches with EQs the more we get close into the sound. So this is the sound without these notches and now with them now here I recommend you to experiment until you get the desired sound because all of these notches are nothing else than just a cut and a boost on a specific harmonics then you can always revisit your serum and change something like this EQ change the texture of the sound. And I recommend you to keep experimenting with these EQs until you find the right balance of this series of harmonics. That is what's gonna get you the closest to a sound like the one used in the track Holy Moly. 
So that's gonna be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you wanna get access to a preset and priority files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.